back to my channel. So today I'm here with Shiloh. And so I'm packing to go to California on Tuesday. I'm packing today. And so as promised, I'm doing a video of what I'm bringing for Shiloh to California. And so yeah, it's actually really hot down here. So I'm gonna take this off. But um, yeah, we're just gonna get started. So right now she's actually wearing her um, travel outfit, which is like what she's gonna wear on the plane. So we're leaving, our flight is at 7.40 in the morning. We're waking up around four. I was considering putting her just in a in a sleeper because like obviously a baby on the plane would probably be wearing pajamas because they'd be sleeping but I kind of just wanted her to have an outfit and so I put her in an outfit that wouldn't be too hot so it's like a pants outfit with a short sleeve t-shirt and then a jacket so then when we get there we can take the jacket off and I'm gonna change her into a different outfit when we get there because I want her to wear like these really cute outfits but this is her travel outfit so it has this um pink bow she has this really cute pacifier that has a heart on it. Her jacket has a little unicorn and a rainbow embroidered on the top. I guess they're not really embroidered, but they're like little patches. And the jacket is like this, it's a thicker jacket. It's not like really thick, like it's not fleece lined or anything. It's just like a thicker material. And it's like quilted and has white polka dots on it. And then the onesie is a short sleeve onesie. It just has little unicorns and rainbows and clouds all over it. It's really cute. And then these um, hot pink pants with these sparkly shoes and these shoes match her other outfits which is also why she's wearing them so I can utilize and save on what I'm packing because obviously the dolls are not a priority but um, I did still want her to look really adorable so that's what she's gonna be traveling in because I don't know she just needs to be warm because it's gonna be cold here but it's gonna be hot when we get there that's why I thought like a jacket out so I can take the jacket off when we get there and she'll just have short sleeves and pants on so that'll work so then for her pajamas for the week she has um, this little footless sleeper from Carter's. It has jellyfish all over it. It's pretty much just jellyfish. There's a few like regular fish, but it's a footless sleeper, so it's really good for the summer. It's really cute, and to match it, I picked out bows to match all of her outfits. Um, it's this like light blue flower, and the light blue matched some of the jellyfish, which is why we're doing that. And I'm keeping the outfits together by wrapping the headbands around them. This is a really good travel tip, by the way, if you're traveling with Reborn, you wanna keep their outfits together, wrap their headbands around it if they're a girl. If they're a boy, you can tie hair elastics around them. Um, so yeah, we have that. Then, I don't know what order her outfits are going in, but, like what order she'll wear them in, but this is one of the outfits. I got this at Target, and it's a romper, and it's so cute. It's light blue with all these really cute birds on them. I love birds, and so this has a bunch of really adorable little like pink birds, and it's so cute. This is new at Target. It comes with another um, dress. I didn't want to bring the dress for her because um, it's really cute. I just don't think it's good for the trip. I don't know. I feel like it's just too fancy. I do want her to look kind of fancy, though. Um, she, I am dressing her a little bit nicer, I think, than like a casual vacation outfit, but... I want her to look adorable because she's very cute. So we're gonna bring this outfit in with this hot or light pink headband. And then um, from that same line, there's this hat that matches, it's the same material. Um, so she'll, she might wear the hat, I don't know, probably not because I don't want her to wear the hat like two days in a row. I don't know, but we have the hat. And then the shirt has um, a pink bow right here and this is really, I don't know, I think it's like a muslin material for the shirt and it's like a, flowy shirt, really cute, and then the um, pants are the same bird material, so I really love this line because I love birds, and so this is just really cute, and they have little like ruffles, she's gonna look, she actually I already tried all this on her because I wanted to make sure everything looked adorable before we like were finalized on it, because I wouldn't, well obviously she looks cute in like anything, but I wanted her to look like especially adorable, like, and I wanted to just make sure, so we double checked by uh, drying everything on of her, trying everything on, why can't I talk? Um, this next one I got at Marshall's, and it has a unicorn at the top, ruffles in the midsection, it goes all the way around, and there's just like unicorns all over it. It's a really cute romper, and I think this is Renee Raffae, oh no, it's Kyle, Kyle and Dina. So, we have that, and then her little magnetic bow. I'm definitely gonna lose this, so I gotta like find somewhere I can keep this, um, cause I don't wanna lose this. This is my favorite little bow, it's adorable. It matches like all their outfits. They always wear this. Cecilia has a bow too, and that's why I'm saying they. They both always wear this one. So I have that little, little outfit. And again, I don't know what days she'll be wearing these outfits. I'll probably post a picture of her on Instagram every day in her outfit. And then the last outfit we have is, this is from Target last year, and this is a really cute romper with 
all these cute flowers on it and it has little pockets right here and ruffles on the sleeves. This one is precious on her. And then we have this like flowery headband to match. It looks so, so cute. And I'm just, I'm so excited for her to just go and have a good time. She's probably gonna stay in my hotel room the whole time because we're like doing stuff constantly. But um, when we have downtime, um, I can like play with her, I don't know. Because uh, me and Stephanie are planning on like doing a video or something, so we'll see. Um, but yeah, so we have that. And then um, I found her a bathing suit. Uh, she probably won't go to the pool. She might. Um, I took, last year I took one of my baby lives, Abby, with me. And I took her to the pool and she actually like could swim. That's why I took her. But um, I could take her and just let her sit on the side. So I found this really cute bathing suit at Carter's today. And so it has two little fish kissing and they have little golden hearts and these really cute ruffles. And then the bottoms are like this. So she has full arms and full legs, but because this is like a water shirt, it like will cover up her cloth completely. And it's like high necked so she wouldn't get like sunburnt. And so this actually works perfectly with her cloth. And then she'd wear this with a diaper, obviously, because like babies wear diapers when they swim. Well, they were like little swimmers, but I don't have those. She's not gonna get wet anyway. Um, but the bottoms, they're really cute. And then I have this headband that matches it's a little bit of a different color but it matches close enough and so she'll wear that but i'm so excited she looks so so cute in everything i tried everything on and she just looked precious in all of it and then i also am bringing her these little white sandals i got these at marshall's last year but they are carters and they're just oh, they're just little like white sandals and they're really cute they match like all her outfits and then i have her little toothbrush that i used to brush her hair um, I have this white pacifier clip that I got from Tiny Creations by Kim. And then she has that pacifier. This one matches the, um, this romper. So I just thought, like, even though it's only going with one outfit, it's still really cute and worth bringing it. And then I have this pink soothe with, um, a magnet on it. Because this matches, like, all her other outfits. So she'll probably, like, wear it interchangeably with these ones. Um, so yeah, that's all of her stuff that I'm bringing her. And then... Like I had mentioned in my previous video with Declan, I am actually getting my next baby from Stephanie at um, in California. So she's hand delivering him to me. And so I wanted to bring some stuff for him so he'll be prepared to just like, I don't know, have clothes for the week too. So um, I have picked out some outfits for him and I'll go grab those. So yeah, the baby that I'm expecting, he is the newborn boy. Um, I didn't reveal anything else about him. If you follow Stephanie's Instagram, you might have already seen the picture of him. He's precious, um, but I'm not gonna say anything. He already has a name. He's had a name picked out since before um, I even like ordered him. I've like wanted this kit for so long. And so he is just precious so we're gonna get started so for him I picked out these pajamas it's just um, this light blue and this is from Target it's the Cloud Island brand and it just has little whales on it thought this was really sweet and he'll look cute in that and then we have this little outfit it has whales on it, it says little squirt and then the pants are like plaid shorts so cute this outfit I think he's gonna look precious in it has um, sharks on it and says brave little guy with these plaid shorts. This is gonna look so cute on him, I think. Cause I was looking at his picture while I was um, planning out his outfits. Then we have this really cute romper. Oh, and both of those were from Target. Yeah, Target last year. This is from Gymboree last year and it has a little whale on it and a bunch of anchors all over it. This one is so, so cute. And then I have this sleep or sleeper overall set from Carter's last year and it has a little bear right here. It's not a pocket, but and it also has like a striped t-shirt, really cute. And then I picked out a travel outfit for him because Shiloh's gonna wear this um, on the flight there and the flight back because I think it just works going both ways. I was gonna bring her another one for the flight home, but I just thought that was like an extra thing that I really didn't need and I wanna like save um, as much space as I can because you never know if you need to like shove things into your suitcase and so I don't know if we'll be needing more room when I come home. You always do. So I just thought she'd just wear this outfit there and back. So for him, I obviously don't need an outfit for him there because he's, I'm getting him there. He like, I'm not bringing him, but I'm bringing him home. And so he's going to come home with, in this little outfit, it has um, the elephant with a bird on it and the elephant pants. So it's like a short sleeve 
and pants thing like her. And then I have this little, oh, and that's from Carter's. And then this is from, um, what's it called? Babies R Us. And this is Koala Baby. And it's just a little navy sweater that he can wear over it. So that is what I'm bringing my dolls. And I was, I can't bring any pacifiers because I don't know, like, what kind of pacifiers he takes and even if I brought modified ones they probably wouldn't be the right side so I can't do pacifiers for him yet but that's okay with me so anyways that's what I'm bringing my dolls for California I'm so excited we're gonna be filming there um probably every day but I won't get to post until I get home because I'll have to like edit everything so there I will try my hardest to pre-film some videos tomorrow for you guys so I can post them while I'm gone maybe on like two of the days so like there'll be two days without videos I don't know but um I'm going to try my hardest to pre-film some stuff for you guys because I don't want you guys to be missing out. But there will be videos when I get back. And yeah, so thank you guys so much for watching. Please click like and subscribe in the comments. Let us know if you've ever been to California. And we'll see you guys later. Bye! <laughs>